Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Welcome to episode four of Geo Fatboy's Everyday Shave. I think this is episode four. <laughs> I'll have to double check. The razor today is the Mula R89, a very popular everyday, every other day shaving type razor, double edged safety razor. Let's take a look. The head is gleaming chrome, highly polished, very beautiful to look at. And then it tapers down a smooth band right here. And then there's knurling, they actually call it chasing on the handle, kind of a diagonal, not super pronounced, but still pretty easy to grip. And then down at the bottom here is a smooth collar and it says Mula, M-U-H-L-E, around the collar twice. The very bottom of the handle, smooth polished chrome as well. It's a three piece razor, let's unscrew it. Remove the handle, top cap, safety bar. It comes with one Mula blade. Here's a look at the package. But as I said, it only comes with one. So let's remove the one from the paper. Right there, it says Mula Razor Culture. And it does have a little bit of glue on it. You could probably see that. So let's drop that over the threaded post and the two pins like so. Reinstall the top cap to the safety bar and then the handle. Check that blade reveal. Perfect on both sides. Ready to rock and roll with the shave. The specs on this razor, the Mula R89, it weighs in at 2.2 ounces or 62 grams. Overall length from top to bottom is three and three quarter inches or 95 millimeters. So I'll perform a shave with this, the everyday shave. Got a couple days beard growth here today. And I will use Castle Forbes Lime Shaving Cream. We're gonna lather up in the Shave Nation bowl right here with the Shave Nation Synthetic Wooden Handle Brush. Let's warm up the bowl under hot water. Crack the cap on this Castle Forbes. Got my little baby shaving cream spoon right here. Just gonna scoop out about that much. Drop it right down into the bottom of the bowl. Like so. Take the synthetic brush and just soak it under the hot water. Go right in here. Commence to lathering. Suds start coming up around the edge. You just press the tips of the synthetic brush right into that lather spot down at the bottom. And just a few seconds, a few short seconds, that lather starts pouring up around the edge. This smells really good. If you like the citrus type shaving creams, you'll really like this Castle Forbes. It's made with actual essential oils. It's made in a castle in Scotland. But here's plenty of lather. Look at that. The more you swirl, the thicker it'll get. Plenty of lather for a few passes right there. Let me set that down. I'll warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. Lather up. Start on the right side. Work your way across. Just drive that lather right into the beard. Cover all the areas you intend to shave. Swirl, paint, figure eight. Set that brush down. Swipe the neck. Clear the runway so we can see our sideburns. Dry the fingers. All right, temper the razor under hot or cold water, your choice. Start on the right side. Find your angle. We're off. Good cushion on the shaving cream. Nice scent. Lime, citrus. Flip that over. Very smooth shaving. All right, both sides filled, rinse that. Rinses out very easily. Left side. Flip 
flip it. Lots of stubble on there. Let's rinse it off. Quick rinse to the face. Let's grab our brush again. Relather for the second pass. Feels really good after you remove the bulk of the beard and you apply that second coat of shaving cream. Go figure eight. Swipe, swipe. Swipe the lip. Clear the runways again. Leave the fingers wet this time. We'll go easy to grip still. We'll go across the grain. Backhand. Left. Rinse that. Against the grain on the neck. Very nice. Just a quick lather on the cheeks to get that final finishing baby smooth pass. Here we go. Just skim. Don't scrape like this, but skim. Other side. Very good. Okay, final rinse on the razor and the face. Hot, then cold water on the face. Grab your Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block. Just glide that all around the areas you've shaved. Tighten the skin, seal off any nicks or weepers if you got any. No weepers today. A nice baby smooth shave provided by the Mula R89. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds, then rinse it off. Pat the face dry. Just leave it slightly damp and then crack open the Castle Forbes Lime Aftershave Balm. Just a little bit right in the fingertips here. It's a nice thick balm so it doesn't take much like that. Massage that right into the skin. Smells just like the shaving cream. Perfect for layering on top of each other. Nice and thick. We'll give you some protection throughout the day. Very good. On Geo Fat Boy's aggression scale, I'm going to give this razor a four. Great for everyday shaving, every other day shaving. Nice to look at. Feels good in the hand. Just long enough where you can drop it into the palm right there and spin. If you're looking for something more substantial, you can go with the Mula R89 Grande or the R89 Twist. This razor, the R89, also comes in rose gold. So if you like the rose gold, a lot of people are hot on that right now. The rose gold as well, you can pick it up. By the way, love the Castle Forbes shaving cream and the aftershave balm. And the Mula blade performed well. If you want to crank it up, you can use a feather blade. Maybe crank it up to a 5. That would probably do it if you want something a little more aggressive in the razor. Like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends. Share the love of wet shaving. It's what it's all about. If you want to pick up any of these items... Just click below the video where it says show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com. Enter what you need in the search box. It'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh.
Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Got to go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.